to right here. So this is pretty good. A new movie appropriate for this week's President's Day. Today's President's Day. Yeah, and it's, it's debuting. Mm -hmm. We're week. talking about Tim Timmerman. It's a semi-autobiographical film about a student body president who was quite possibly the worst student body president in high school history. And so Cameron Sawyer, who is the film's director and writer, um, and inspiration for the film is here because this is <laughs> about the worst I student was, body president. I know what an intro, right? right? Yes, yeah. I was the most inept student body president in history. Uh, they wanted to impeach me the entire time is I was in true? office. It's is true. true. I don't believe you. It's true. Yeah, and the worst thing is, is the guy the year before me was the best ever. Really? Well, yeah. it's hard to fill those big shoes, I guess. Yeah, he carried a three-ring binder, was always on time, uh -huh. and I was skipping school to go skiing at the Sundance and uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. playing assassins and uh, hanging that out with potheads fun. and you know, I it's didn't smoke mostly. pot. I just yeah, didn't know but you just played the hacky sack. Yeah, I played yeah. the hacky sack and yeah. my discman. That's you know, in the hallways. And yeah. so you thought, why not? I'm going to write a movie about my life experiences. Then. Yeah, you know, the 90s is such a fun time. Mm -hmm. um, and high school comedies, uh, I miss them personally, the John Hughes movies. And so I wanted to make a movie that was fun and that uh, was close to my own experiences in high school. So, so how tough was it to do the casting for somebody that is kind of a, a loose sketch on yourself? Yeah. Well, we just wanted to get the best actor possible, and we well, actually... Well, of course. Yeah, we went to Los Angeles and found an actor that was... Uh, he's a main character on the show Lab Rats. His name's Eddie Perino. Mm -hmm. And he looked a lot like Jim Carrey, which we loved because this movie's set in the 90s. He and he's got such personality, and he's so funny that we were just like, we have to have this guy in the movie. And I thought he did a really great job. Yeah, he's super fun. What was it like making this movie and then kind of watching these scenes unfold that you basically knew whether or not they nailed it or it wasn't yeah, quite the it, it took me back to being in high school Did in the it? 90s. Yeah, it was like it reminded me of, you know, the flannel, the, the Doc Martens, the, the, yeah, <laughs> the hacky sacks, things uh -huh. like that. So it took me right back to the 90s and uh, we had a really great time making the movie. We made it here in Utah, actually. Well, Shot that's the cool. Movie right here. So, from what I understand, this is something that's going to be appearing on VidAngel. That's right. So, how did you bond with? Well, you know, it was the perfect marriage. We um, we went to some Hollywood studios that loved the movie, but they said it wasn't raunchy uh -huh. enough. So, or wasn't raunchy. Period. Yeah. So, <laughs> Not so, even enough, yeah, just not raunchy. Yeah. NC-17, exactly. <laughs> So they said, we, didn't, we don't know what to do with it. And yeah. VidAngel at the time said, we want content. And it was the perfect marriage, you know, because our movie is, it's made for anybody. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but it's, it's safe enough to, to bring your family to. So You're not going to be embarrassed it, sitting next to mom or grandma. Yeah. No, it's clean. It's, it's probably the cleanest PG-13 movie in history. I don't know why. How we did got you that. get a PG-13 no rating? I have no idea. Like we're so surprised by that. Um, there's a drug reference in Could the movie. Did you use the word freak? In this yes, movie. Yeah, yes. Well, uh, then there you go. Yeah. So is that what you want to do? Because, I mean, you make movies. Is that, what, is that kind of what you're going for? I know you... I've always wanted to make movies. It's what I did growing up. Mm -hmm. I went to film school. And uh, it's just been a lifelong passion of mine. And I just want to keep making more... Family-friendly? Yeah, clean films. Yeah, the thing is, is we didn't set out to make a clean film. We set out to make a good film. Mm -hmm. It just happens to be clean. So we're excited about that. Do yeah. you find that there is a pretty broad audience for this kind of movie? Yeah, you know, um, when we tested it with audiences, 12 to 17 year olds liked it the best. Uh -huh. But right next to them were their parents who went to school in the 90s. So I think everyone's nostalgic. Actually, all groups of demographics really like this movie because it takes back to high school and what it was like, you know, um, just going to school and experiencing uh, life. Uh, back in the day. So how so. would you describe this movie? I mean, I, I don't know. It's not Napoleon mm -hmm. Dynamite, is it? Or Breakfast Club? What, what? It's kind it's of a Ferris Bueller. Ferris Bueller, okay. Piece. So it's yeah. a little smarter than Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, I'm not going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to see that. the movie. You have to go see the movie, yeah. yeah. But, okay. yeah. Yeah. I can't wait for this. I love this kind of stuff, honestly. You know, we just relax. And I know you're doing some screenings. You're allowing... We're doing some screenings. We have a screening for the deaf community um, that's happening uh, Monday the 27th. We've got... Our main character is deaf, uh, the rival student body president who's uh, uh, the love interest in the movie. She's, she's deaf. 
And we've got, um, let's see, a screening for uh, high school student councils. Okay. So all the student councils in Utah have been invited to two screenings. That's an We'll have to group. put that so on our that website, so we'll do some... How yeah. to not run a school. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what not to do as a student body president. I like it. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be fun. Well, I hope yeah. the movie is a big success. Thank you so much. Well, thanks, Carrie. I appreciate where it. Can, where can we watch it? So uh, it'll be in all Cineplex and uh, me or Cinemark and Megaplexes uh -huh. in Utah, or most Cineplex mo yeah. and Megaplexes in Utah, beginning March 3rd. March okay. 3rd. I'm and if you go to our website, timtimmermanmovie.com, uh, mm -hmm. you can buy tickets and find out, or watch the trailer and uh, find out more about the movie. You're going to get my money. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thank you. About this. Yes. Get my and he does not give that up That's very right. often. So. I may even buy popcorn for this one. Oh, good, I'm good, thinking good. about it. Yeah, I'm Otherwise, excited. we'll smuggle it in my wife's purse. <laughs> you know how we do. Yeah. That's what we do in Utah. Well, thanks. Hey, man. good luck with this. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Glad you're doing it. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. All right, we're going to go out now to Breck Bolton. He's in for Big Buddha right now. Breck, you look different. You lost the hairnet. And the coat. I lost the hairnet. We were worried the, what was underneath the, the coat. coat. Yeah.